Hi everyone, welcome to Ask an Armorer. My name's Kia, and today I'll be showing you how to tighten the barrel of your foil down, specifically after it's already been wired. So why would you ever need to do this? Well, the unfortunate reality is sometimes during the initial wiring process, the barrel doesn't get tightened down fully properly, and therefore comes a bit loose. This in turn can lead to intermittent white lights, as the barrel's movement will slowly strip away the insulation on the wire inside, which can then cause the circuit to ground out on occasion during normal fencing actions. So tightening the barrel won't solve the root cause of this problem, only a full rewire will, but it can at least help you get through the rest of a tournament. Or it'll break the wire entirely and you'll have to rewire it anyways. It's a bit risky, so if you have the option, I'd recommend asking somebody with a bit more experience to help you out on your first attempt. All you're going to need for this is an adjustable wrench and a pair of vice grips. You could use two adjustable wrenches or a table mounted vise if you have one, or even in a pinch two vice grips, but I don't recommend that method. Using a vice grip on your barrel can cause it unnecessary stress, making it more likely to crack and rendering all of this work we're doing meaningless. If you have them, you can also get out a small test box and a body core that you know works to check at the end if we actually fixed the problem or if we just broke the wire entirely. The first step you're going to want to do is take off all of the tape from the tip of your blade. This is going to make sure that your tools both can get a better purchase on your blade as well as give you a better feel for the actual tightening process. Take your vice grips and clamp them to your blade about half an inch or a centimeter or so for my non-American friends below the base of the barrel. It may take a couple of attempts to get them adjusted to the right pressure. We want it at this level both so that there is enough room for the wrench to rotate around when we're doing the tightening, as well as make sure that it's actually the barrel tightening and not just the blade twisting when we do this tightening, like if you had put it down, lower down. If you look closely at the barrel, you'll notice that there's a couple of flat spots on either side of the base of it. These are surfaces specifically meant to rest your wrench against while tightening, so go ahead and slot your wrench over those now and just tighten it down until it's snug. Now you're ready to start tightening. Remember, clockwise is what tightens and counterclockwise is what loosens. I forgot this once and ended up taking the barrel off more and just kind of hastened the inevitable and ended up needing to rewire anyways. So when you're tightening, go slowly, be careful. Most of these should only take a quarter turn, half a turn at most, and frankly it's a bit of a miracle if your blade is still working and you need more than that. It's hard to put into words, but the best way I can describe it is to just continue at a slow and steady pace until even that relatively gentle pressure stops working. At that point, it can be concluded that the barrel won't tighten any further without significantly greater pressure applied and a much greater chance of cracking the barrel. It's generally just a feel that you develop as you do this a few times. Once you get to this point, you're good to remove your tools from the blade. Now I'm going to plug in my body cord and my test box to see if I've solved my intermittent white light problem or if I've broken the wire entirely. If your weapon is working properly, you're good to tape it back up and get back on piste. However, if not, well, I did warn you this was a bit of a risky procedure. I've got a few videos on how to rewire a blade if that's what you need right now. Please remember too, every test box is going to give readings slightly differently depending on the manufacturer, so be sure to read the instructions for whichever one that you have. So there you go. Hopefully you have a working foil on your hands and not an immediate rewire job. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe, and as always, if you have any questions, comments, or other topics you'd like me to cover, let me know down below. See you in the next one. Bye.